Houston back at home after getting swept by the A's. And uh, Seattle, fresh off of a sweep themselves at home against the Texas Rangers. These two teams met last weekend right after the All-Star break, and Houston went into Seattle and swept them. So uh, will we have a broom out here once again? That's what's been going on with these two teams. You've got Logan Gilbert going for Seattle. you got got uh, Jose Urquidy going for the Astros today. And the Astros are only a dollar forty favorite in this game. Some people may say, "Wow, it's pretty low price here, considering that uh, you know Houston will probably have uh, you know Pena back in the lineup. Uh, their regulars will be back in the lineup. Still, Michael Brantley uh, still uh, missing, but for the most part, you should have their A lineup in there. The total in this game is eight at minus one twenty, shaded towards the over. Base winner: Mariners and the Astros. Well, Seattle got drubbed by the Astros at home, but I think if there's a spot for them to beat the Astros, it's this spot. You know, we've talked about you know, not wanting to play Seattle when they have Chris Flex and his muscles or Marco Gonzalez, but Logan Gilbert, according to my numbers, is the better pitcher here. I actually have Seattle favored, and uh, people are going to gasp when I say I have Seattle favor minus 136, but I'll go down the offensive uh, players because I think it, it, it does deserve a comparison. And if you look at the Seattle, just top to bottom, they go J-Rod, he's 24% better than average. France, Santana, Suarez, I've got them all above average. Uh, Jesse Winker versus right-handed pitching, I have him 29% better than average. In fact, Kyle Lewis is the only guy below average in this lineup. I've got him 2% worse than average. J.P. Crawford, Cal Raleigh, and uh, or Raleigh. Oh, yeah. If you're from Raleigh, Durham, you're, you're, you're cringing when I say Raleigh. But, uh, and then Adam Frazier, they're all above average. And then, you know, my numbers are pretty high on, on Houston as well, TC. I've got LTV at, uh, this is versus right-handed pitching, a 125. Pena uh, over, better than average at 101. I do have Pena significantly better versus left-handed pitching. Uh, Alvarez is at 150, and, and deservedly so. Bregman at 121. Tucker, 141. Gurriel at 107. So good there. But this is where it kind of like tails off. And we talked about this on one of the shows, TC, when I was just – I was gushing over Houston's lineup. Oh, man, these guys can really hit. And you said, wait a second, base winner. Look at the bottom of the lineup. And you were, you're right. They've got Chaz McCormick. He's below average. Jake Myers below average. And Maldonado, he's below average. So – you know, you shake, you put all this in and evaluate all the all the players. I think Seattle's got the better the better lineup here, TC. And I I don't really even have time to go go into the bullpen, but uh, you know, well I did, I just went over the numbers, Jeff. I mean, you know, that's that, that those are my numbers. So if you don't like them, then that's fine. But you don't have to laugh at me. Um, you know, those guys those guys have performed pretty well. They're they're good players. You don't even you didn't even know who Julio Rodriguez was. So like, I mean, stop laughing, dude. And uh, and then if you look at uh, the bullpen, it's a, a significant advantage for me for the Seattle bullpen. I think they're the best bullpen in baseball by a lot of different ratings. And uh, you know, if you look at the last thirty days, they're number one in the Saber Command. You look at overall, they're number one in the Saber Command. So I think that that's you know, something that people overlook, and that's why this, this game's underpriced. So for me, it's a good play on Seattle. I'm going to take it on the run line, put it in a parlay uh, with the Giants, and I'll talk about that game a little bit later, TC. All right. Jeff? Uh, I, listen, I, I don't really even know how to respond to what he just said. I, I, I'm not going to cut it up. Obviously, he doesn't agree with what I say, and I don't agree with what he says in Seattle. To say that they're a better lineup than Houston is is laughable. I'm just going to be honest. And to say that they're a better bullpen is also laughable. Um, it's just not true. It's 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 finding these ridiculous things that sabermetric people use and trying to justify a situation when we just know that we're not going to be able to justify it. Um, that being said, I don't disagree with the pick. I, I actually think Seattle's a pretty good play. I don't like Urquidy. I lean over, quite honestly. I think both these teams will hit. Uh, Gilbert's been solid. Uh, he's definitely a guy that I think is better than Nikiti. Uh, but these are two lineups that, as he alluded to, are, are going to hit a little bit here. We know that Seattle can hit Urquidy. And, look, the fact that I get guys like Alvarez and Altuve and and, and guys like that, I'm going to lean over, over eight and a half. I, but that said, TC, you gotta you got to respond to what he said. I mean, that that's crazy to say that. No, well, again, I'm not going to sit here and again and, and pick sides and do that stuff because that's that that's ridiculous. But I will say this: 
I mean, yeah, the Astros are the Astros. And I'll say this, that the Astros do get up for the better teams, and we've seen that. And they have struggled against the A's this year. They've struggled against the Rangers. And sometimes they go through this. They will be up for this game. They're back at home. They know they swept uh, um, a Seattle. And here's the thing about this. Seattle was all gung-ho. Remember, we talked about this last week. They had won 14 in a row, coming off the All-Star break. And they had that, ca- that, uh, that series circled. And what happened is the Astros went – from going into that uh, a nine-game lead in the division, and they pumped it up to a 12-game lead just like that because they swept them. Now, all of a sudden, the Astros lose three in a row to the A's, and then Seattle lo- uh, wins three in a row. So now they got those three games back, and all of a sudden, Seattle's starting to believe in themselves. And uh, you got to remember, Julio Rodriguez did not play in any of those games. He is back now, so they are they are a different lineup. Of course, I, I do like the Astros. I'm not going to play him here. But, you know, again, at minus 140. And, again, I like Urquidy probably better than, than you guys do. Uh, Urquidy is, is, is fine, and we've seen some great performances from him. But I do like Logan Gilbert. That's what kept me off the game. So I think Mark's on to something as far as Gilbert goes. If you look at Gilbert's last four starts, I think the numbers are something like he has 20 strikeouts and, and like three or four walks, and he's given up either one run or no runs in, in three or four of those starts. So, he is probably one of their better pitchers. You're right. He's no Marco Gonzalez. He's no Flex, and that's where Seattle really has the problem. They really don't have good good starting pitching here. But uh, you know, hey, uh, Mark's numbers say what Mark's numbers are, and I, you know, Seattle's hitters are they're good, they're okay. But I mean, do they have a better lineup than the Astros? No. Do they have a better bullpen than the Astros? You know, no. I mean, they're not as good as the Astros. We know that, but. They can get to, to be streaky here. And it wouldn't surprise me if Seattle wins a game or two in the series that I'm going to be at. But uh, I'm laying off of Houston today. But I will be on Verlander when he pitches against Seattle tomorrow, which what I think is going to be a better, uh, you know, advantageous matchup for that. But anyway, uh, we're going to lock Yeah, I mean, I think, I think, you know, I'm looking at my numbers, and I think that if somebody said, okay, these are the outfielders that you could get, Chas McCormick, Jake Myers, or Kyle – Kyle and Kyle Tucker, or you could get J Rod, Winker, and Kyle Lewis. I mean, I would take the the last one, and I don't think it's I don't think there's any like doubt. Like if if you well, take Tucker's a Joseph, an Tuck, Tucker's one of the best. <laughs> but, in, but put them together. I'm not, I'm, I'm not talking about yeah. one. So is Julio Rodriguez, you know, and 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 and. Yeah, I mean, but Mark, to fair, Mark, to be Mark. fair to Tucker, T- Tucker's better than Rodriguez. But you you know, Chaz McCormick and Jake Myers. I mean, come on, you, you, these guys. No, they're they're I mean, they're quite. I, I've I said before when you yeah, so, I mean, nine with the Astros, it's scary down there. But yeah, most but I, lineups I, I are think, that way at seven, eight, nine. Yeah. I think for somebody to laugh at my projections when they don't even know who Julio Rodriguez is, Mark, I, I Mark, think that's kind of out of place. Mark, what you said was stupid and laughable. Okay, sorry. I'm just being honest. And no offense, Mark, but no one really knew who he was coming in the last week or whenever that I was. I knew who he, he said, was on the second second yeah, show of the, Mark, of the of the of the, okay, of the Mark, season. I said Julio Rodriguez is going to be he's going to be the rookie of the year. Right, Mark. But I again, mean, you know a lot about baseball. No one said you didn't, but most fans and even TC didn't know who he was. None of us knew who he was. Well, don't say that. I you. Asked Wait a second. I, I think of course you did. I knew who he was, and I told you I knew who he was. So don't put mm-hmm. me in that. So, I'm pretty no. sure you said the. That, that doesn't matter, guys. We're here to handicap. Yeah, but he's some getting games. he's getting mad because he said something stupid, and I'm calling him out for it. It was stupid. No, no, I'm not. I'm not. I think it's I think it's kind of rude when you laugh at somebody's handicap I when it's a pretty it's a, good handicap. I, 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 Mark, yeah, I think the because same we handicap we, we handicap differently, and you don't know who Julio Rodriguez is. Okay, that's fine. Mark, I, I've made it very clear. I don't sit here and watch every game. I don't. I don't. I don't. I just don't. I don't care. Seattle is 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 the truth of the matter is Seattle is a nothing, nobody team. They're not going to win anything. They're ten games behind the team in front of them, and they're not going to. No one cares about Seattle. I don't care about Seattle. I don't bet them much. Just because I don't know who Julio Rodriguez doesn't mean that I don't think it's stupid. I think it's stupid when you say Houston's offense isn't better than Seattle. I just think it is. Sorry. If you look if you analyze the projections, man, Fair man. Enough. Fair enough. All right, guys, let's uh, let's move on here. And again, base winners got the Seattle Mariners in this game here tonight, uh, plus a run and a half here. So rooting for an outright victory or a close game for base winner. He's going to put this in a parlay. So we'll talk about the second half of that parlay coming up. 